Good morning, everybody. I am Oliver Joyce, and welcome to another Whiskey Barrel Studios video. Hey, guys, thanks so much for all the amazing replies and thoughtful replies you did on my burning out video uh, a couple of weeks ago. I was really kind of, uh, I was really touched uh, by just how much you guys care about, you know, me and swords and sandals and everything. Uh, the video was, you know, in some ways, a little dramatic, maybe a little over dramatic, because in the scheme of things, really, I'm just making games. But, you know, I was just trying to address the fact that, you know, burnout can happen in any line of work and no matter what you do in any hobby and anything like that. And um, a lot of the comments were really spot on just saying, you know, you need to take a bit of time away, look after yourself, put your health first and everything. And that yawn, oh, speaking of yawns, at the start of that video, um, made me realize uh, part of the problem was not so much the game itself or anything like that, but fatigue. I have uh, two boys, as you guys know, um, four and a half year old Isaac and uh, Charlie, who's two and a couple of months. And Charlie is not sleeping very well. And we're getting up at all times of the night. It's not not as bad as when you have a newborn on you up all the time, but he's just waking up a lot. And I realized that was really impacting my days and just this fog, sort of fog and, um, you know, just a slowness to, to everything I did in the daytime. And that was really starting to sort of affect how I looked at the game, Swords and Sandals and everything. And then I'd sort of, I'd see uh, a negative review on Steam and I'd really... I was starting to take it personally, even though I've been doing this for so long and I've had so many good reviews and bad reviews, but you just don't care anymore about, you know, one person's negative opinion. But I was starting to care and I was thinking, why is that? What What is wrong? Am I burning out here? And it really was, you know, for the most part, fatigue. And um, I'm still tired, uh, as you can well tell, because he's still, he's still not sleeping well, but I now have a good sense of perspective on um, everything and this too shall pass like everything else. I'm actually feeling, um, aside from the fatigue, pretty good. Uh, God bless the old instant coffee. Gets you through anything, at least for a while. Um, and Barocas are good as well. <laughs> That's not actually the point of today's video. I just wanted to sort of pre preface everything by just saying thanks so much to you guys for, um, you know, for caring about me in the series and so on. Uh, I'm feeling great. Um, game's in a good place. And um, I'll talk a little bit more about this right at the end of the video, but I want to just jump into what we're going to do today. The Starbound Gladiator is here, finally. That uh, has been a long time coming. It's um, been since May that the game came into early access and I had to get through all the arena champions and all the um, arenas themselves and everything. And it took actually a lot longer than I thought it was going to. And I... Um, I'd originally, I think when I was developing, I was saying there's going to be a hundred champions and I got to about 20 something and I realized, ah, oh, it's actually quite hard to differentiate them visually. Not so much. I can sort of come up with different things, but there's only sort of so many combinations of stats and things you can do before you start sort of duplicating and repeating. So, uh, I was having a hard time there and I was thinking, ah, oh, how am I going to get to 50? And I ended up getting to 52 for the Starbound Gladiator. Plus we're going to have a few extra special ones for, um, dungeons and there's a halloween patch coming in a couple of weeks as well who'll have their own special bosses but finally anyway we got to the starbound gladiator and um i had a lot of great feedback about that fight what we're going to do today is i'm going to try it out <laughs> so spoilers ahead if you haven't got to the fight and you don't want to see it um skip through until on the little thumbnails until you see me talking again all right um, there's only going to be I'm mean, just one minute or two minutes of footage of me um, probably getting uh, destroyed by our, our favorite enemy, but I just want to see how I go against him. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so here we actually have a gladiator, not one of my gladiators. In fact, it's one of the guys from Discord, uh, Niram, who actually provided the uh, template for the uh, ancient Tolador champion, uh, but. Niram gave me this gladiator to do some testing the other day uh, and it was a pretty high level gladiator not quite uh, high as it could be because they get up to level 75 but this one is still pretty powerful uh, this is a fighter who has some pretty nice gear there uh, good stats lots of vitality um, Niram is a very good player much better at the game than I am lots of good stats there in fact 
And so we're going to use this character just to uh, test out the battle. When you defeat the last grand champion, uh, you can originally you go straight to the battle, but now you actually get a um, a little reprieve. You can go around, you can go to different towns if you like, and then eventually you can go to the final battle or if you know the time passes. All right, click on final battle. Go to Imperial Villa. Normally you're going to see a cutscene. I'm going to skip that. Uh, for those who want to see the battle but don't want everything spoiled, we're going to skip straight to the battle. All right, here he is. Our friend, the Starbound Gladiator. Lots and lots and lots of essence, lots of health. Give it your best shot, but nothing will stop me opening the Constellation Mirror. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> okay, um, lots of armor, level 80, massive power score pretty devastating really so what we're gonna do um what do we got wrath of alicia lots of good stats here we'll try uh wrath of alicia oh yeah cool we broke some of their armor they have a special move called the neutron collision which can really rip through your armor if you're not careful so we just lost a lot of our armor okay all right so uh holy smite did 928 damage. That's pretty good to their armor. I'm going to try uh, Leap of Lions, Ghost Strike, Little Fat Kid. Let's try. Uh, this will take two turns to build up. Oh, we missed. Okay, we're in trouble. Okay, took a lot of damage, lost all our armor now. No good. Let's try a Ultra Smash. Ooh, almost got all their armor breaking. And that's a two turn thing. He's got a stun on him, so let's try that. He'll wake up from the stun. We're still burning up a bit. And we're going to do Whirlwind again. Wow, look at this monstrosity. Yeah, so I gave him uh, this weird sort of uh, eyeball inside a head with some eyes on top. Sort of a uh, Lovecraftian horror vibe to him. Just because I really wasn't sure what I wanted him to look like. And I thought, well, he's been so corrupted by the malevolence. Something awful has happened to him. I don't know what yet, but it's not pretty. Uh, got any items we can use? <laughs> he hasn't got any healing potions. Okay, well, we're in trouble. Uh, warrior strike So it's an interesting build I heard that um, bards and wizards actually do really well against this character not so much warriors He's just jumped over us. He's taunting us really, but now we're stunned uh, <laughs> uh, Let's throw a weapon at him <laughs> Now we have no weapon And he's just made us scared we're in trouble. Try to win, whirlwind. <laughs> it's all over. Stomp! <laughs> well, that's tough. So, I've heard from quite a lot of people that A, they love this boss fight, and uh, they love that it's a challenge because. You know, so much of this game, I've been trying to make it challenging and updating, upping the difficulty and everything, but people still just cakewalk their way through the boss battles and just, you know, slam, 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 destroy them all. So I'm glad there's someone that's finally been able to stop you guys in your tracks. Some people have said this boss battle is too hard and it's too overpowered and... Oh, what was that? <laughs> that was from my microphone. <laughs> the whole world is coming to an end, breaking around me uh, we'll fix it up later but uh yeah look there are two things there are strategies you can beat this uh boss with you can respect your character if you wish uh i've heard that wizards and bards uh handle it quite well warriors not so much yet uh but do check out the discord and the steam forums for some strategy guides if you are really struggling with them however and this is one of the perils of early access the game isn't complete uh i'm not actually planning on nerfing the starbound gladiator right now as it is 
But how would you like to nerf the Starbound Gladiator? There will be a way to uh, weaken the Starbound Gladiator by your actions in the game. So in the next sort of two or three weeks, uh, I will be revealing the observatories, which is another little um, sub part of the game. Just some extra locations you can visit and uh, meet some automatons. And uh, if you use stellar crystals, which you get from defeating grand champions, you'll have the option of either um, delaying the Starbound Gladiator uh, through sort of certain events that happen out in space or weakening them. And I haven't exactly figured that out now, but each time you visit an uh, automaton observatory uh, to, to weaken the enemy, the Starbound Gladiator, they will get weaker by 10% or something like that, whatever the number is. And so by the time you fight them, they will be easier if you choose to go that way. You don't have to do it this way, but that is an alternate route for you to play the game because I want you to have a bit of agency in this. I don't want to just go, well, the battle's too hard, let's nerf it for everyone because then what's the challenge? Um, a lot of people love Dark Souls you know, for a billion reasons, but one of the reasons is the challenge of the game. And this being the final battle, it should be a, a challenge. And it, it does feel unfair for many people right now, but uh, rest assured that there will be a way to beat him uh, via these observatories and so on. Uh, and that's pretty exciting. So please play through the game now. If you can beat the Starbound Gladiator as is, Wow, more power to you. That's awesome. Some people have beat this Gladiator on Nightmare Mode with tough bosses on and even on Permadeath. I don't know how they did that without cheating, but they've done it apparently. So on the last patch, I've just kind of um, buffed up the Grand Champion as well to make them more of a challenge. So, uh, you know, I want this game to feel like a challenge, not a cakewalk, you know, if possible. Right now, I just want to give a, a quick shout out to my mighty Patreons. Uh, on many YouTube channels, you see those lists growing and growing and growing to the point where they can't read out the names of the patrons because they have so many. Uh, my patron seems to be going in the opposite direction, but uh, we still have these 14, or 13 or 14 hardy souls who uh, have been with me this whole time. And, you know, I can't, I don't blame you if you don't want to be a patron or you um, sub and then you um, get rid of it. it. Honestly, like, I'm just grateful to have as many fans of the series and so on. Patreon is just a little uh, a bonus, basically, for those who just want to support the series even further. And, you know, you do it one month, amazing. You do it lifetime, you know, lifetime, for, you know, as long as some of these people have, even better. And um, I salute all you guys. Daniel Funches, Pookie, Body X, Cheese Chow, Brandon K, Ilya Gurevich, Pipuch, Timmy Boy, XR Omega, Jeffro, Hopeless, Eunice, and Noah Gudajan. Uh, the mightiest patrons you could ever find. And you know, the armorer always says, if you'd like to be a patron, that would make my day. Get out of the way. Get, get. <laughs> yeah, and you know, I try to do a newsletter every week. Sometimes I delay it. You know, it can be every week and a half. But uh, you guys are, you know, the real lifeblood of the series. And whenever I can get you a little bonus, I will be able to. So um, thanks, you guys. So what's next? What's next? Uh, as I was mentioning, uh, the observatories are coming. Uh, that will be happening this month, no doubt. Uh, I'm actually going through and creating new artwork uh, for each town. Just a little, a nice sort of uh, image of the town background. And all the homeland backgrounds are going to be updated as well because there were sort of these um, kind of royalty-free oil painting -y style ones that I just got from some site. And they were fine, but they just look a little bit dream sequency and not that great so i'm actually improving the detail on those and making a whole bunch of new ones it's about 40 images or something i've got to do maybe even more they'll be coming in uh probably a patch either maybe even later this week also what's coming unlimited days there's going to be a button where you can tick unlimited days for new gladiators and then you can play the game as long as you want you don't need the 300 days so 300 days is very much a how i want you to play the game for that feeling of urgency and like ah you know doom doom is coming but you know i don't want to dictate to you how to play the game completely i want you to be able to customize the game to play it in the style you want to play it as i also mentioned uh the halloween patch is coming soon which will just be a little fun thing uh where you can fight some special halloween themed bosses if you can track them down on the map and of course yeah overworlds and then uh come november or so we'll start working on the dungeons and i don't know how long that's going to take and of course player versus player multiplayer is coming as well 
Yeah, finally this week, I just wanted to touch on uh, that burnout thing again. And, you know, over the last couple of weeks, you probably ran into me on the Discord or YouTube or Twitter and everything. And I might have made a couple of comments that made me seem a little defeated, a little negative, uh, a little sort of, you know, burnt out by the game. Uh, I, I know on, on the YouTube channel and, and, and in places I come across as, you know, really wholesome. And I think that's it's really awesome to be described as that, you know. Uh, we are all light and shade and, you know, I... I have ups and downs just like everyone else. Uh, sometimes, you know, in the past, I was actually, in my youth, I was described as a bit more, you know, cynical and negative than, you know, I might even present on camera. And you, that's part of it. I think, you know, that in every cynic, there's sort of just like a, you know, a hopeless romantic who's just been a little bit sort of, you know, tarnished by whatever. Uh, I, I mean, I'm in a wonderful place in life at the moment. I've got a, a beautiful family and, uh, you know, I'm, making swords and sandals for a job and you know i have my health and other than being tired i got nothing to complain about and so i do want to apologize if you know it seemed like i was kind of moaning and groaning a bit uh but i also just wanted to say to you guys don't ever um feel like you can't sort of say hey you know i'm struggling a little bit just with whatever is any kind of mental health or anything like that because we all go through things even you know um you know, I, I was watching a movie the other day um, called The Invention of Lying with David Brent or Ricky Gervais. And, you know, he's he's sort of sitting around and he's a bit sad and he's in a he's in a five, you know, five, 15 bedroom mansion by a pool. And then the other goes, what's wrong with him? He says, well, I can't feel sad and depressed just because I'm in a mansion. You know, and I thought that was kind of funny. I mean, not I mean, I'm not in a mansion. <laughs> I'm in a house, you know, but not a mansion. That's for sure. But um, yeah, I mean, anyway, I feel like I'm rambling a little bit, but I just wanted to say to you guys, um, thanks so much for you know being here and supporting me, supporting the games. Your enthusiasm for the series drives me. And so when I see uh, how much you guys care about the series, it makes me want to keep going with the series. And I, you know, to be honest, I love working on the game. I woke up every day and I, I think of things I'd love to put in it and um, extra features I'd love to have and everything. Unfortunately, the financial considerations and the fact this is, you know, literally my income means I can't work on it forever. And as much as I'd love to add all these many features that you suggest and that I think of, I just, there is a case of diminishing returns, if you know what I mean, where you um, can only put in a certain amount of features before, you know, people, it's not going to generate any more money, if you know what I mean. And, and, Unfortunately, it's the harsh realities of business. And I want to keep coming back to this franchise and keep making it better and better. And, you know, I'll probably be adding things and patching this game for many years to come. Um, it's sort of taken over from the classic games as far as my focus. Those games are pretty much parked and done for now. Uh, there's not much more coming to those games, but this game will be supported for the foreseeable future. Uh, having said that, I do want to get it wrapped up you know, come January, February, so I can start something else and then start thinking about the future of Sword and Sandals. Who knows what comes next? Anyway, uh, I hope you are all well and happy and healthy and uh, I hope you enjoyed the Starbound Gladiator patch and look forward to the Halloween patch and the Observatory patch. Lots more coming this month. Until next time, my friends, look after yourselves, be kind to each other and bye for now.